welcome back to Amashiroi Recap. Today, I will recap Blade Dance of the Elementalers. The story begins with a boy named Kamido Kazuhaya on his way to the academy. He meets a female student named Claire. She immediately attacked him because Kamido saw her body parts while bathing. Unfortunately, the attack was unsuccessful and instead hit the tree behind her. Seeing that, Kamido decided to save her immediately. Despite being saved, Claire was still angry with Kamido. She ordered Kamido to submit to her while threatening her with the fire element. Then she asked why Kamido was in academy territory. Kamido received a message from the headmaster requesting him to come to the academy, but he got lost in a forest area because the area was too large. Then Claire took him to a place called the Offering Shrine. Claire intended to make a contract with the spirit weapon sealed inside. Kamido explained that the sealed spirit was extremely dangerous and might kill it. Claire already knew about it, but she would do it anyway because she needed power. <laughs> After Claire pulled out the sword, suddenly, the sword was out of control and attacked them. Claire tried to fight it with her fire spirit, but it didn't work. When Claire almost died there, Kamido protected her, and he made a contract with the sword spirit. <laughs> Kamido had not expected to be able to tame the sword spirit, and Claire wondered why boys could contract with spirits. Claire was irritated that her coveted weapon had been taken away, so she asked Kamido to become a contracted spirit and serve her. Kamido pretended to obey her orders, but when he arrived at the academy, Kamido immediately ran away and left her. After that, Kamido went to the headmaster, who ordered Kamido to transfer to the academy and gave him important information. Then a girl student named Ellis accompanied him and introduced the school environment. Kamido would be in the same class as Claire who had always forced him to become her slave. Even a female student named Rinslet was attracted by Kamido's good looks, so she wanted to make him her maid. But Kamido refused because he had something to do. His goal is to find the whereabouts of the dark spirit. A teacher explains that the academy aims to help a noble princess become a skilled spirit user. Due to his experience in controlling spirits, Kamido will represent the school in the blade dance competition. Kamido was very troubled because there were no facilities for men. Even for food, he couldn't buy it because he didn't have money, and the restaurant's menu was quite expensive. Then came Rinslet carrying food for Kamido, and even Claire also brought food for the hungry Kamido but they both clashed and summoned their respective spirits, resulting in a battle that set Kamido's residence on fire. Rinslet tried to extinguish the fire with her ice spirit power. But she overused her strength to the point where Kamido's home was destroyed. Hearing the commotion came the Academy Knights to meet them. Because the two members of the knights called them a village noble family, that made Claire and Rinslet feel annoyed and challenged them to fight. Ellis also decided to fight three against three. Before the match, Claire invited Kamido over to her place. They have dinner together and prepare for battle. After that, the battle between them began. Ellis attacked using the wind spirit, and Kamido counterattacked with his elemental weapon. But his weapon is still imperfect because it's been three years since he summoned a spirit. Even so, Kamido tried to overwhelm his opponent while the others assisted him by launching attacks from a distance. So the battle became increasingly fierce, and only Ellis was left alone. A demon spirit suddenly attacked when they were fighting, and they had to postpone the fight to defeat the demon spirit together. Claire had intended to contract with that demon spirit because she wanted to have strong power. Kamido told her not to do that because it was too dangerous. But Claire paid no heed and tried to fight the demon spirit alone. Claire had launched various attacks, but none of them worked. Kamido decided to save her. At first, people thought that Kamido was a weak boy, but in reality, he was skilled at using spirits. Kamido could defeat a demon spirit with just one slash. Although the demon spirit was defeated, it was a pity that Claire lost her fire spirit and Kamido lost consciousness. When Kamido fainted, his memories surfaced. From a young age, Kamido was trained by a group of people to become an assassin and gain power as the successor to the demon king from a dark spirit girl. The next day Kamido woke up in the girl's dormitory. 
He was slightly disoriented because he was in bed with a naked girl. She said her name was EST. Then Rinslet and her maid suddenly came. It turned out that Rinslet had cared for Kamido when he passed out. Seeing that there was something under the blanket, Rinslet immediately opened it. Rinslet was enraged to find Kamido sleeping with a young girl, so Rinslet summoned an ice spirit to attack her. But EST managed to tame the spirit. It was revealed that she was the Demon King Slayer's sword spirit that had entered into a contract with Kamido. Since EST was always near Kamido, Ellis threatened her because Kamido dared to target an innocent young girl. Fortunately, Ellis wanted to hear the explanation so that the problem was solved. Since Claire had lost her contracted spirit, she decided to participate in a match in Academy Town, and the winner would receive a contract with a militarized spirit. Then Claire met someone who offered her spirit power. She immediately accepted her offer because she needed a contracted spirit and got a berserker spirit. On the other hand, Kamido was worried about Claire's condition. Therefore, Kamido immediately came to the match arena to confirm her situation. But Kamido arrived a little too late. There had been chaos because Claire had awakened a berserk spirit which forced her to release her spirit power. To stop her rampage, Kamido approached Claire and said that if Claire wanted power, Kamido would be willing to become her contracted spirit. Those words managed to calm Claire, but the berserk spirit was still raging and was about to attack its master. Kamido explained that the berserk spirit was scarlet. She had not vanished but temporarily lost her strength. Therefore they must work together to restore it to its original state. After successfully calming Scarlet, suddenly, a girl meets them. She was the one who gave Claire the powers of the Berserk spirit earlier. She was also Kamido's contracted spirit named Rishia. Rishia's arrival brought them trouble. She forcibly awakened the militarized spirit causing it to go out of control. His encounter with Rishia distracted Kamido. He felt guilty for assuming that Rishia's crimes resulted from his past actions. As Claire managed to wake him by kissing him, Kamido decided to stop the spirit first. Claire used a whip weapon to hold its movements so Kamido could defeat the spirit more easily. After the spirit was defeated, Kamido again lost consciousness and lost a lot of energy. Three years ago, a girl called Fiona was being chased by a monster. She tried to summon her spirit, but it didn't work. Kamido happened to be there, so he immediately protected the girl. When Fiona saw Kamido's elemental weapon, she felt that Kamido was Ren Ashbell, the strongest participant in the Blade Dance competition. Kamido explained that he had reasons for doing so and asked Fiona to keep his identity secret. Kamido also mentioned his goal of participating in the Blade Dance competition. He had a wish that he wished to fulfill, and that's why he disguised himself as a girl and won the competition. Then the battle between teams, Kamido and Claire lost even though the opponent's strength was not too strong. It was because Kamido's team was lacking members, so they had to find three more spirit users to be able to enter the Blade Dance competition. As Kamido and the others ate lunch, they discussed the new transfer student. Because her team isn't complete yet, Claire intends to invite her to the team. Kamido advised Claire to get Rinslet on board as she was an excellent spirit user. But the two argued and did not want to give in to each other. Then came Ellis, who said that the headmaster had summoned him while Kamido was meeting with the headmaster. She introduced him to a transfer student named Fiona, the second princess of the Ordesia Kingdom. Kamido had no recollection that he had saved Fiona in the past. The headmaster gave them an S-rank mission with a hefty reward. They were asked to investigate a suspicious earthquake in a mine city, where a strategy-type militarized spirit was a weapon of mass destruction that could destroy the city. If the seal were broken, Fiona would use a spirit dance ritual to repair it. Then Fiona tried to tease him and try to make Kamido remember her. Fiona found out that the real Ren Ashbell was Kamido. Unfortunately, Kamido did not recognize her and needed clarification about why Fiona would know his secret. After that, Fiona would live with Claire. Simultaneously, a boy infiltrated the academy. 
Ellis and the other knights tried to catch him, but the boy was powerful and had many spirits. Kamido and the others decided to fight the boy. That boy was called Geo, and his ambition was to become a demon lord who could control multiple spirits at once. He also knew about Kamido that he was Ren Ashbel. When Kamido was cornered, Fiona threw a spirit crystal and managed to save Kamido. But Fiona's body couldn't move because she was too scared, so Kamido had to protect her from the attack. In the end, Gio managed to escape, while Kamido was seriously injured and Fiona fainted. After Fiona returned to her senses, Kamido went straight to her and asked her to walk with him. Upon arriving at the forest, Kamido asked why Fiona knew his secret. Fiona gave several clues, namely the forest, the sword dance contest, and her tied hair. Instantly Kamido remembered an incident three years ago where he met a girl in the forest. At the same time, Fiona was considered a lost and useless princess. It was because Claire's elder sister had wreaked havoc in the Ordesia kingdom, as the royal princess Fiona tried to stop her. But her contracted spirit was easily destroyed by Claire's elder sister or the Queen of Calamity. Therefore Fiona wanted to regain her status and honor by winning the blade dance competition. On the other hand, after Rinslet gives essential information to Claire, she is also allowed to participate in the Mining Town Investigation mission. The city has been abandoned for centuries, so the atmosphere looks like a ghost town. Suddenly they heard someone fighting there. It turns out that Ellis is fighting Geo. Kamido fought seriously against him. Kamido also managed to destroy all of Geo's elemental weapons. <laughs> But Kamido used too much force to the point of exhaustion and nearly died from Geo's attack. Fiona used the bloodstone that housed high-ranking spirit power, allowing her to unleash lethal attacks. Geo <laughs> couldn't withstand her attacks, so he decided to run away. The bloodstone was Fiona's primary weapon. She had planned to use it in a match. Fiona always carried the stone in her bosom because she could no longer control her contracted spirit. One of the reasons Fiona wanted to win the blade dance was to restore her power to how it used to be. After telling them her secret, Kamido and Claire acknowledged Fiona as their friend. So she officially became a member of Kamido's team. Suddenly there was an extraordinary earthquake. They needed to find the real shrine to stop it. So Fiona can strengthen the spirit seal there. ESD knew the location, so they were able to get there quickly. Fiona prepared to perform the dance ritual to seal the spirit, while Kamido and Claire would protect her. Not long after Gio came to see Kamido, Kamido, without further ado, attacked him with all his might. Kamido had also said that Gio wasn't the Demon King's successor because he was too weak and his spirit power was fake. When Fiona performed her dance, it caused Gio to feel helpless pain. <laughs> Suddenly Rishia arrived. She gave Gio her powers so he could fight against Kamido. Gio used a sneaky way of attacking Fiona. Kamido had no choice but to protect her. As Fiona had the strong will to save someone she loved, it unexpectedly revived her contracted spirit. <laughs> In the end, Kamido and the others work together and defeat Geo. The next day Fiona tried to give Kamido her spirit energy so he could recover quickly. Not only that, but Fiona also kissed him. A few days later, Fiona and Claire had a chocolate making competition and wanted to give it to Kamido. Then the sword dance competition was approaching, and even though they didn't have an entire squad yet, they still held various matches to fulfill the requirements of participating in the blade dance. Kamido and the others were stronger than before. Kamido could more freely control his sword skills, Claire could understand the enemy's weaknesses better. Whereas Fiona, with her holy knight spirit, made their defense stronger, so they can win three matches easily. As they celebrated the victory together, Rinslet celebrated even though she wasn't part of Kamido's team. Rinslet and Fiona were jealous that Kamido always spoiled ESD. They also wanted to hold his hand but were shy. So Maid Rinslet immediately grabbed her hand, making them even more jealous. After visiting the cafe, Kamido had a joint meeting with Ellis. Kamido planned to study together at the library to discuss study matters. Ellis suddenly invited him to go to her dormitory. 
she deliberately brought Kamido into her room. Kamido felt nervous and confused, especially since Ellis said she would become his maid. It turned out that Ellis got the idea of becoming a maid from her fellow knight. She did it to reward Kamido for always helping her in battle. Ellis had also made food for him, and Kamido was pleased it was so good. During that meeting, Kamido was invited to work as a knight. That caused Claire to feel betrayed and order Kamido to leave. So Kamido slept outside that day, and Kamido was going to work with the Knights of the Academy with Ellis. Ellis' older sister named Valseria. She was dissatisfied with her younger sister's performance for being unable to stop the intruders, so she destroyed the place. The people who survived her attacks were made into pawns in her team. Even though some people betrayed Ellis, some people still sided with her. Thus the activities of the knights can be continued without any hindrance. Because Kamido had become increasingly familiar with them, his relationship with Claire had drifted further apart. Claire was disappointed that Kamido didn't care about her feelings and always sided with Ellis. According to Ellis, Valseria is a great knight. She highly upholds justice and diligently trains her swordsmanship. That's why Ellis always wanted to be a knight like her sister. But her sister's attitude changed after being defeated by Ren Ashbell. She now only cared about power. At first, Ellis hated Ren Ashbell when she beat her sister, but slowly, she began to be fascinated by her prowess. On the other hand, Claire, who is alone, is trapped by someone. That woman offers a great power that will grant her wish. But Claire no longer believed in such a trap. Instead of following her words, she chose to fight back. Suddenly a spirit rampages through the city, and Kamido immediately saves a girl. Despite having managed to save her but Kamido was seriously injured. Claire also came to help him. She explained that two students used a cursed seal that made her spirit go out of control. They had no choice but to fight, but suddenly, an explosion annihilated the two spirits. It turned out that the attack had come from Valseria. She didn't care about the impact it caused. That makes Kamido angry with her. Kamido tries to advise her, but Valseria ignores him and instead looks down on Kamido along with the others. The next day they received news that their next opponent would be the Valseria team. Of course, they need strong spirit controllers to defeat them. Thus Kamido invited Rinslet to join them. Since Ellis' team members couldn't fight, they asked Ellis to join Kamido's team. They hoped to see Ellis join the Blade Dance later. So Team Kamido has five members and is ready to fight Team Valseria in the next fight. The match between Kamido's team and Valseria's team had begun. Valseria intended to fight them alone and immediately launched continuous fire at them. Rinslet managed to deflect all of the shots. Then the combined attack led by Claire made Valseria fall to the ground. They started their attacks at close range. Fiona summoned a Holy Knight Spirit to block Valseria's attack. Meanwhile, Claire used her Fire Spirit and was assisted by Rinslet's Ice Spirit so that the attack succeeded in destroying her body. Because Valseria had underestimated them, in the end, she lost. Then Valseria used a very dangerous curse seal to strengthen herself. But that made her go out of control and suck the holy energy out of them. Ellis tried to stop Valseria, but her attacks couldn't penetrate her defenses. <laughs> Kamido, still recovering, decided to help his comrade who was in trouble. Kamido used all of his strength to defeat it quickly. Since his wound still hasn't healed, he hasn't much time. Fiona gave her remaining sacred energy, it restored Kamido's strength, and she could fight at full power. Kamido was not alone, his comrades had also helped launch the attack. Ultimately, Kamido managed to destroy the cursed seal on her heart, and they won the fight. 
The victory this time wasn't just due to strength alone. Kamido felt he could win because he had great comrades. After that victory, Kamido and the others became the academy's representative in the blade dance competition. Of course, strong opponents will be waiting for them in the match. And that is the end of the video. Remember to subscribe and like this video, so see you in the next video.